any master's course in IT, which is under long-term skill shortage so that after studies, one can apply for skill migration. Going to university will give me a chance for placement or college is okay. There is no master's uh, uh, course. There is actually a master in information technology uh, that is present in the long-term skill shortage in America. But I don't think you should be too bothered about getting only into a... If, see, I'll, I mean, it's a little complex, but I'll try and explain it to you. There is no master of information technology in the long-term skill shortage list. But if you do a two years master's, you fulfill uh, any two years master's in information technology, even if it is not in the long-term skill shortage list. You fulfill that condition which says that you need to have studied in New Zealand for two years and uh, you know have a master's or a, uh, or a PhD. Even if you don't want to do a master's and even if you want to do just a, let's say a postgraduate diploma and uh, you are get, uh, getting your three years work visa, in that three years time, if you are able to post any work visa, if you are able to find a relevant job at the right salary and uh, the right position, that's when you get the required number of points because a job gives you a lot of points as well towards your migration points. And so in, because of that, what will happen is you will then be able to reach your residency. So don't get fixated by saying I want to do only a master's that is present in the long term skill shortage list because quite honestly, there is no master's in IT that is mentioned in the long term skill shortage list of New Zealand. So any two years master's would be good. I mean, I would even I, uh, I would even go to the extent of saying even a postgraduate diploma in IT would be good long as you are able to get your three years post study work visa and find the relevant job at the relevant salary and at the relevant position. So that's what is the most important thing. Coming to your next question of, uh, will I will going to university give me a cho better chance of placement as compared to a college? I frankly don't think so because New Zealand is a society where it, it's very unpretentious. You know, it is not a society where, you know, people are kind of have all those class symbols like, oh, I have a, uh, you know, degree from Harvard or I have a, uh, you know, uh, I drive a, you know, a BMW or, you know, people, people are not like that here. I think in New Zealand, it does not matter whether you go to a university or an institute of technology or a good high quality private training establishment, because bear in mind, the universities and the institutes of technology are both owned and operated by the government of New Zealand. So you are protected by uh, uh, the government of New Zealand. And as, as far as the private training establishments are concerned, you need to be careful because although they are also governed uh, or you know, kind of uh, under the aegis of a body called the New Zealand Qualifications Authority. There are some bad apples in that, and which is where a company like AJV, we ensure we are only working with the good ones from the private training establishments, and that is where we can advise you. So I think you are absolutely fine going to a university or to an institute of technology or to a private training institution recommended by us. So I think you're good.